Today we're going to take you through the install and use of one of these Linkswell tablet style head units. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because I'll be honest, I was super apprehensive when we started carrying these. There are a lot of really bad Android based head units on the market these days. We've got our CAN box, more on that later. And our OEM camera retention interface. We've got our main RCA harness, our USBs, our Bluetooth microphone, our video inputs, our GPS antenna, our Wi-Fi antenna, and our RCA audio outputs. And then they even give you a cool little screen wiper. So we're going to unbox our main unit. We're going to leave the plastic on, just, you know, just to be safe. It's the smart move. This particular truck is a 2020 Ram, uh, and they're pretty straightforward to get apart. There's just two, two screws at the top of the dash there, and then a bunch of clips. And they're really tight, and you want to be careful so you don't mar up the dash next to it. You'll see the tool I'm using is kind of a homemade deal. It's a metal pry tool, but then I wrap tape around the bottom just so I don't mar up the, the pieces that I'm prying against. Another part that can be kind of tricky on these trucks is unplugging the OEM plugs. The just There's not a ton of length on them and the clips are kind of tough to push in. Here we've got our main radio plug and then we've got our, back, our OEM backup camera plug, our OEM USB, our AM FM antenna plug. And then that's an OEM GPS antenna, which we will not, we'll not be using. So we're going to start out here. We need to remove the center section of this dash piece. So one nice thing about these, nothing gets permanently modified. It can always be returned back to factory. So we're going to pull out the OEM radio from this and then work on removing the screws for that center section. that done we'll pop that out and set it to the side on this particular truck it was equipped with a five inch screen so there are tabs that need cut off of the the new unit for mounting so those two top tabs there will need cut off we're going to go ahead and get our unit lined up here and then we'll start putting the we're just going to reuse the oem screws you don't want to just crank them down one by one all the way you want to do it in a kind of a progressive pattern and that's just so that you don't torque the unit weird uh, on some vehicle models with, with these large tablet style radios it can put stress on it and you'll end up with phantom clicks what the hell is even that So you can see our hazard button was relocated to the bottom of the screen there. Oh, forgot my top. So we're going to go ahead and get all these 57 plugs plugged into this unit. That is one thing from an install standpoint. These, these head units, they have a lot of features, which means they have a lot of plugs. Man, this thing has all the plugs. Proper cable management, uh, it's tedious. Story time. So, I mentioned earlier after the cam box thing, more on that later. Um, so, we did have a couple of roadblocks on this install. That can box um, is what allows the head unit and the truck to communicate back and forth. We had Climate control issues with the, the touchscreen climate controls didn't work right. As you notice, the, the OEM knobs, they get removed and everything happens on screen after that. So it didn't work right. Uh, we called Lynx Wall Tech Support and they got us fixed up. Overnighted us a new CAN box, which is, I mean, that's unheard of nowadays. So super good service on their part. And then we also had issues with wireless car play. Uh, there's an app on the head unit for that. Uh, and we were having issues with it not connecting. 
whatever it happens once again called their tech support they got us fixed up waited on hold the entire time while we downloaded an update to a usb got the hidden unit updated i mean crazy um, so can't say enough about them and th that's the main difference there's a lot of android based head units on the market nowadays you're going to see that unit for a hundred dollars on amazon and then you're going to see something like this there's a pretty good size price difference uh, and that's that's part of the reason why it's all about that uh, you've heard the saying service after the sale like that's what it is the other part of that is i mean that's the way we do things we we did all that testing troubleshooting kind of back end phone calls to the manufacturer to get that sorted out so that the client doesn't have to deal with that definitely something to think about if you're looking for a unit like this service tech support you know getting the thing where it's 100 percent and then also if you have a shop doing work for you like this same deal like you know like i mentioned we did that testing we did that troubleshooting when our client picked up his truck it was good to go yeah, ready to roll everything works perfect nothing to mention the ones that we've done after this uh no issues there the uh cam box thing seems to have been resolved asmr alert All right, so we've got the new Linkswell in this Ram. I, it looks so good in here. It looks like it's supposed to be in this. A couple of the coolest features, it's got wireless CarPlay. It does your climate controls right on the touchscreen here. So yeah, no, no wires, nothing there. You hit the phone link and bam, it's up and ready to go, right? So you got your music and everything right in here just like it should. It's awesome. But one of the coolest features that I love about this is if you go to your settings here and you go to network it's basically it's an android tablet which if you guys all know me you know i drink apple's kool-aid but it's Nerd. still cool to have. so you can go in and you can get into um different networks and things like that so you, if you use your phone as a hotspot, you would have wi-fi in here then you can download apps so you could have like your youtube tv you could have um a clue on how to work oh there we go you can have youtube tv you can have an actual web browser you can have netflix on here so you could netflix and chill you could netflix and chill in your car in columbus car audio's parking lot while your friend is getting their car worked on and look look at the, that's weird our website just popped up on the browser there huh. so you get a full chrome browser it's very fast i love this thing man um the other thing I found out when I was talking to them earlier about it, ooh, forgot about the camera. And you can force that on too. I noticed that earlier. All your steering wheels and uh, controls and all that are retained, which is super cool. Um, and I don't know if you knew about this, but so this, you can scroll through and see all your open apps and stuff like that, and then you can clear them out. I thought that was really neat. Yeah. You've got a little bit of time delay and stuff like that. That one's similar to like the Pioneer menu. Um, but you have different controls. It's it's nice, man. It really is. It's super fast and snappy. It sounds good. I like it. Uh, I'm excited, man. So if you would like more information, give us a call. What if they don't want more information? Give us a call. But what if they don't want to call us? What do they do then? Give us a call. You can hit us up on all of our socials. Uh, you can also... What if they're not on social media? I mean, it's 2023. My dad, my dad's 80 some years old, and he's on social media. Some people don't have social media, Jay. I envy those people. Don't be so close-minded. That's true. Uh, you can go to our website. You can mail us a letter. <laughs> you can mail us a letter at 6597 East Main Street, Reynoldsburg, Ohio, 43068. I, I love postcards. <laughs>